In this video, I would like to show how to install packages from a private GitHub repository. So, for example, this package, pastax.data, is in a private repository. If we tried to install this packages, package using the usual function devtools, column, column, install underscore GitHub, that function will fail. Let's show that. Uh, in this case, the reason is that we do not have the required permissions to access the repository. The first thing you could do is to make sure that um, you do have privileges to read the repository. So if you go to github.com and if you went to uh, the, the, the page pastax.data, if you do have access to this um, page, then you have permission to install the package. But if you still get something like this message, it means that your system is not set up with a GitHub token that allows you to perform such operations, such as installing packages from uh, private repositories. So how you do that? Okay, the trick is, let me clear this up with Control L. The trick is to use a function in the use this package called gh token help. So that function does not more and not less than giving you some guidelines guidelines about um, what to do in case that your system is not uh, set with an appropriate token. So here we see that the function tells us that the host github.com is online, but it also tells us that there is some problem here with the red cross. There is no access token found. So to create one, what we need to do is uh, to first call the function create GitHub token. So this is the function in the use this package. So the first thing you need to do is to do library, sorry, use this. So with this, then the functions in the use this package can become available and thus the function create GitHub token. So if we run that function, we are sent to GitHub and here you are uh, asked to name the um, um, token however you like. I recommend uh, to use the name of your uh, computer, like for example, ThinkPad in my case, uh, like where you're gonna use that token and when this was created, like something like 2022 in this case as uh, March 17 today. Uh, but here, instead of doing this, what I'm gonna do is write something very obvious like delete me because I don't want this token to hang out after this uh, demo. So I'm gonna come back here and delete it. So this is all you need to do. Then you can scroll down and safely click on the green button, generate token. So that presents you for a single time with this uh, string, which is a private piece of information. You copy it by clicking here on the uh, two boxes uh, and then you just save it somewhere that um, you can uh, come back to later. I save this in my password manager and I think you should do the same. So this piece of information will go away when you refresh the page. So be sure to keep it safe uh, because you will never be able to retrieve it from GitHub. So now with that piece of information uh, copied, then the next thing you need to do is to um, call, basically to follow the guidelines, right? To call the function git creds, git creds underscore set. So let's do just that. Let's go back here, git creds, sorry, git creds uh, set, git creds set. So that function will ask you to insert, to paste the token that you created from GitHub. Here is the first time where you see um, in full that private piece of information. So you run that and then you're good to go. Uh, if you need more details, you can come to this article here, right? That I'm gonna copy and uh, then go to that URL. That is an article in the use this package that contains the information that I'm uh, showing you today, plus some more. So with this, you should be ready to install packages from uh, GitHub that are in private repositories. So let's try that and let's show a caveat. So uh, was uh, to use the function from the DevTools uh, package. We did uh, install GitHub and we were installing a package from the two degrees 
investing organization and the package was past tax data. If I try this, I will still get the same error because uh, this function is not aware of the token that we have just created. For that, you can use the argument authorization token and pass here the token that you created. I mean, you could use this string literal as it is, but I don't recommend that. I recommend to do that through the gh package because it has a function called gh token, which will retrieve the token for you. But why is that better? Because if you call that function gh token uh, by itself, it will not print the entire thing. It will just show a little bit of it, so you can confirm it is the token that you're you know, interested in, but it won't kind of disclose it. So that means that it's pretty safe to use that function in things like this demo. Uh, in this particular case, you know, I'm already showing the entire thing, so it wouldn't make a lot of sense to try hide it now. But in general, it is a good idea to never disclose publicly that, that string. So uh, that's how, and let me clear this up with control L again. So this is how I would now call uh, the function in install underscore github to install that private package with the explicit argument authorization token auth token um, uh, and the value that I pass it is the one that I get from the function gh token in the gh package. So with that uh, I successfully download and install the package on my system and that's all you need to know. Right now, uh, I'm presented with information to uh, like letting me know that uh, there is a bunch of packages that uh, could be updated, uh, and it is asking me to choose what I want to do. Uh, in this case, I do not want to update anything, so I'm going to say number three here, which belongs to corresponds to known. So by doing that, the package installation will continue, and I'm done with the video. So I hope with this very quick instructions, you are able to install packages from GitHub. And remember, if uh, that are in private repositories. And if you need more details, maybe you want to come back here to this article and read the details here. Thanks.